guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're someone who enjoys talking about film then consider hitting that subscribe button We're officially in october it's my favorite time of year you guys before i do get into this review i have a whole candle situation happening we're gonna be working with my little ring light to see what works best all right guys we're here to talk about venom let there be carnage venom 2 um was i excited about this movie yes and no yes because the trailer kind of sold me on it you know as the trailer is supposed to and i'm like okay it looks like it's gonna be better than the first because the first one i wasn't really a fan of it did take me a few watches before i officially did start enjoying venom the first venom it is more of a bromance happening here uh between brock and venom they have been together as a one for quite a a bit uh, venom is getting very very restless as he was promised he could eat brains of bad guys and Brock Kesson said, no, we cannot do that anymore. You're going to live off of chocolate and chicken, which is like what I would love to live off of chocolate and chicken because it's two of my favorite things. Well, part two definitely has a little bit more of that humor to it. Some of it works, some of it doesn't. Some of it does work very, very well, but it, they do go a lot for that humor. It does, again, give me more of that little comic book sense to it. Mind you, I don't even read comic books, but it just gave me that comic book uh, vibe. It has a lot of action. We do have a lot of fight scenes between uh, Carnage and Venom, which was very, very good. Uh, well, not like very, very good, but it was, it was good enough. You know, it was very entertaining. Uh, we do get, I think, two. Two fight scenes with them and we have a really really great like escape from carnage from prison we do see a lot more of venom here as well apart from part one you know it took him a minute to kind of come out and for us to really see who he was again we are more um established in this particular part so we just know we, we don't need that big huge introduction so annie who is played by michelle williams does still come out in this part as well not as much well did she have a big part more part in part one no probably about the same screen screen time screen <laughs> screen time she had her moment here as well as she did in the first uh part um i just won't give you guys any spoilers in case you haven't seen the first one but if you've seen the first one you know what happened to her there she does it here too she has a lot of fun with it tom hardy i mean he's great he's a great great actor um he is like one of my baby daddies because he's like handsome and he really really plays the role um very very well now the villain here of course is carnage but um he gets attached to cletus cassidy who is played by the wonderful great crazy ass uh woody harrison you know he really uh, knows how to nail these particular type of characters uh, of course if you've seen the first one you already knew he was going to be the villain in this part because he comes out in the first one well he's um he comes out in the the post credit scene right post credit or the end of the movie and i think it was like a post credit scene mid credit scene somewhere around there oh talking about mid credit scene post mid credit scene before i forget you guys you have to stay and watch the mid credit scene here it's in the middle it's in the middle you don't have to wait till the very very end of it in the middle it is awesome like it's a good 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 one like this one got me very very hyped when it was happening i go oh, is it so and so and it was like oh my god it's so and so so the story overall is very simple very quick it's only about a 90 minute runtime or something like that it's really no downtime we get the bromance between you know brock and venom and them breaking up kind of situation we have fight scenes we have another fight scene we have an escape plan we have a villain we have a love story and i absolutely love that we get miss chin back here she does have a slightly bigger role that was one of the comedy portions of it that did work personally for me i think she did great i would love to see more of her as well but i think this is pretty much all i'm gonna say about venom let there be carnage it's gonna be a super easy breezy just to the point kind of like the movie type of review before i give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new overall venom was better than the first one i did uh have a good time with it i saw it after the fair so it was a really nice way to kind of like just 
relax and you know just kind of calm down and just see a a fun little movie from being out and about and walking around actually it's like my first official like outing outside of the, <laughs> outside of the movie theater kind of go out anywhere but unfortunately it wasn't great it's not one of my favorite marvel or unofficial marvel movies i don't know is this officially marvel I really don't know. I think they're supposed to cross at some point. And also, it's not going to make it as one of my favorite movies of the year. But again, I had a good time with it. So, it is going to get a medium popcorn. If you've seen Venom, Let There Be Carnage, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Do you prefer part one or this part right here? All right, guys. That is it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.